that time of the year again, blueberries are fresh on your local HEB. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a very easy but delicious, better for you, nice cream. Yes, I said nice cream because it's nice to you, it's nice for your family, and it tastes mm, amazing. Are you ready? Let's do this. The first step, we're going to do a better for you blueberry sauce that you can use in your nice cream, you can use the leftovers on a great Greek yogurt or anything that you like. First, we're gonna add blueberries to a saucepan. Those blueberries have been washed. Make sure you wash your blueberries, okay? We're going to add monk fruit instead of sugar. We're going to add water and vanilla extract. We're going to mix this up. Mix it really well so the monk fruit gets into the blueberries. And you're going to cook these blueberries in medium heat. Medium to low heat, if you have more time, go on lower. But medium heat, it's okay. The thing is, the high, if you cook something in really high heat, you're killing more of the nutrients a lot of times. If you cook something slower, you're allowing everything to come out and stay more alive, right? So if you have more time, Go on low, if not, medium will do it. And you're going to cook this just into the blueberries start to pop, you see. So take a look, do you see how the blueberries start to open up? When that happens, you want to grab your potato masher and you're going to mash up your blueberries. You wanna mash up enough to where everything of the blueberry turns into this jam sauce kind of vibe. You know what I mean, right? Look at this beautiful, better for you, blueberry sauce. Okay guys, when you are making a blueberry sauce, I highly recommend that you use an apron, okay? I'm being brave over here with my baby pink and dark blueberry sauce, but let's put your apron on. It'll be better for you. I should have done it. <laughs> so now we're gonna make our ice cream. Basically, all it takes for your ice cream is the base, which is your base will be frozen bananas. You wanna make sure that your bananas are sweet. So you want them to be ripe, but you don't want them to be overripe where they go, start going into brown color, deal? So you want white, ripe, sweet bananas. <laughs> all right, we're gonna put that in the blender. Now, this is a very strong blender, okay? So I don't need to add anything to it. If you don't have a blender that is really powerful, then you want to add a little bit of coconut milk, just slowly, little by little, okay? Then you're going to add half a cup of the blueberry sauce. And just remember that whatever blueberry sauce you have left over, you can put it into a yogurt parfait or any other things that you might like with fruit, however you like, okay? So guys, now it's very simple. We're just going to blend this baby up. You know, every time we blend, we gotta dance. <laughs> if you do this right, you're going to see that the banana creates this very creamy consistency without having to add any heavy cream. Look at this, guys. And it's just bananas. You wanna make sure that your blueberry sauce is chill before adding to the blender and you need to serve it right away. This is a fresh made dessert, okay? It doesn't have any preservatives, anything like that. You can put it in the freezer after, but it loses a bit of the creamy consistency. It gets um, more icy. Look at this beautiful color, the creaminess, and it's just banana, blueberries, water, vanilla, little monk fruit. Find great blueberries at your local H-E-B. Now I'm gonna go enjoy this. Sit outside, watch the sunshine. Beijos.